Hello, everybody. Welcome back to MTP. We're joined by Eamon today. Eamon's a very experienced driver, aren't you, Eamon? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Not experienced yet. No? I yeah. reckon you've got some experience. Actually, yeah. how much experience do you have? How much hours, roughly, do you reckon you've done? Uh, like, probably like 20, maybe 20 hours. 20 hours? Yeah, around maybe. there? Okay. Yeah. So, you know, DVSA recommend 20 to 40 hours before we're ready for test. Yeah. What we're going to do is a mock test. Yeah. We've got the sat now set up, so I'm just going to push go on that. Yeah. Let's start your mock test with a tell me question, so nothing too tough. Okay. Would you tell me about the headrest? My favourite uh, question. You put it in the middle. You put the headrest in yeah, the middle of your yeah. head. Lovely. Later while we're driving, we'll do the show me question as well. Okay. Just like a real test, and we'll be doing everything that a real test um, does. Okay? Oh, so okay. I'm just going to conduct it the same way as a, an examiner. You will arrive at your destination okay. at 12.57pm. Yeah. All right. So there's 80% chance you have the sat-nav. We've got the sat-nav set up. Yeah. So we're going to start the independent driving, okay. and then we'll do our manoeuvre later, possibly emergency stop. Okay. And that's it. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so what I'd like to do is just exit the car park on the left or the right. It's entirely up to you. We'll turn right onto the main road and then follow the sat nav. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so yeah. just ignore what I'm going to say now. Drive on when you're ready. Um, we won't be posting up any thoughts as they're coming along. You might see me scribble some down. And then if you guys want to know the results, you can just skip to the end of the video. If not, stay tuned to the end and we'll have the results. We're not going to post them up as it's happening. We're going to do everything at the end. So, like I said, good luck. Drive on when you're ready. Thank you. After 300 yards, turn left, A4090, Witten Avenue East. Ignore what I'm scribbling down. I forgot to do something, didn't I, chat? So, if you're watching us on YouTube, we're live streaming to TikTok, and chat most likely are the champions as we run the 10K challenge, which is a recurring segment here at MTP and chat smash it every time and slay us so at the end i'll check that obviously i'm not going to look at the screen Turn and read left, comments while i'm instructing someone east. that would be against the law so we'll do that at the end sorry chat After 300 yards, turn left, A4127, Greenford Road.
Turn left, A4127, Greenford Road. So this traffic light, if anyone is doing a test at Greenford, as you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, the world's longest traffic light, yeah, the examiners generally ask us this generic question. So if you weren't doing a mock test at Mock Test Bus or yeah. your real driving test, what would you normally be doing? Playing basketball and going to the gym. Nice. Yeah. You got any favourite basketball team? Lakers. Lakers. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But I like other players as well. Steph Curry is good. Uh, Someone said I look like him. Yeah. You you see it too? <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, when I looked up Steph Curry, I was just like, nah, I don't see the resemblance personally. But I don't think that they're the best, like, best team in the NBA. Do you follow it quite closely? Or? Uh, yeah, I used to watch their games, but now, like, their games are going to come in October, I think, October. All oh, right, season's ended. Yeah, then. season's okay. ended, yeah. But they're not the best, like, uh, like champions-wise. Like, they used to have, like, some titles, but not this season. This season was uh, Denver. That one. Denver, right? Yeah, Denver Nuggets. Oh, wow. Did they win? Yeah, they won the season. Okay. Never heard of the Nuggets winning before. Yeah. So with um, the cars in front, yeah. remember to try and always see the tyres. Yeah. If it's just a little bit. I think you can just see a tiny sliver of the tyre. Yeah. Uh, there's an old-fashioned saying, tyres and tarmac. Tarmac means the road, so even see all the tyre and a little bit of the road in between us and the rear front. Okay. Uh, the reason for that, just in case anyone's wondering, is if they break down, we yeah. can actually drive around them. Yeah. Or if we just want to change lanes, we know we've got a lot of room, we can just go around the vehicle. So welcome to the Greenford Road. This is going to take us all the way down to the Greenford Roundabout. Yeah. The Greenford Roundabout is the biggest roundabout at Greenford Test Centre. Yeah. And we've been there a few times before, haven't we? Yeah. What we'll be doing for our next segment, so when I see you next time, yeah. is I'm actually going to start showing you some different test centres. There's yeah. some new test routes. Okay. okay, so we're going to start sort of taking you out of your comfort zone a little bit and yeah. start to get you into areas you've never driven before. Yeah, okay. we'll see how that goes. Uh, would it be Pinner or? Uh, yeah, we'll so. uh, we'll end up at Pinner one yeah. of the days. Um, there's another few test centres local to us at the moment. So we've got Southall, Isleworth, and Yedding as okay. well. So okay. we'll visit Pinner, Southall, Isleworth, and Yedding. We'll do okay. we'll do all of those. And then we'll find out what one we get for your real driving test. Yes, yeah? so yeah. at the end of this, we'll have actual real test and yeah. see how that one goes. Um, because as everybody knows, it's like Mission Impossible at the moment to try and find a test booking. So yeah. it's a bit it's random. Too much use. Yeah, I'm not going to go into detail, but it's a mess. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. How are you feeling? Uh, very good. Not feeling nervous with all the cameras on you? No, <laughs> no, most people do. I think it's good practice for the real test because, you know, we're going to be very nervous on the real test, so this uh, might help. I kind of had the uh, TikTok on YouTube as well before. Yeah? Yeah, I have right. TikTok right now, but cool. YouTube I used to post it, but like, it's kind of stopped. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, but I haven't stopped like fully. Well, I'll, I'll try going back on. Yeah, I think at the moment for me, I do like the long content. Yeah. But I think a lot of people prefer the short content now, don't they? Yeah. So, shorts. Yeah, a 
lot of shorts on the channel at the moment. That's all I've been doing. Yeah. But you're bringing back the long content now, Eamon. Yeah. Yeah? We're yeah. getting back in there again. Yeah. It does look like we've got a lot of traffic up ahead. And this crossroads has a yellow box in it. Yeah. Could yeah, you, you tell could. me, when are we allowed to stop in a yellow box? I don't think you can. You can't stop in a yellow box. Let's do some multiple choice. I'll just do two. I'll get told off for this in the comments, I'm sure, because it's supposed to be four. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just do A and B. So A, when we're turning left. Or B, when we're turning right. One of them we are allowed to stop in the yellow box, so it's not a trick. Turning left. <laughs> right, right. Yes. Yeah. So turning right only. So yellow boxes are designed to allow traffic to turn right. That's the reason for a yellow box. I don't know if that helps to remember. Yeah. So, you know, just as argument, uh, not an argument or conversation, uh, if we were to turn right here, yeah. can you see the road on the right quite clearly at the moment here? Yeah, kind of. Is there any traffic in that road? The traffic come from the left. Is there like a no. traffic no. jam or... No. no? No? Okay. So then we're allowed to stop and wait in the other box. Okay. So the exception is if there's traffic blocking the road on the right, yeah. we must wait at the traffic light. If the road on the right is free of traffic, yeah. We'll move into the yellow box and stop in the yellow box okay. for turning right only. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Due to the traffic. Yeah. I'm going to actually ask you to turn right at the traffic lights, okay? Okay. So just ignore the sat-nav for the time being. Okay. And at the traffic lights, turn right. Okay. Oh, it was already green and then it went to red. Oh, that quick. Some lights are like that. They allow literally like maybe four vehicles. They just give enough time for like maybe four vehicles to get through and then they turn green. Ah, sorry, turn red again. Yeah. It's good that you've identified that. Thank you. So like I said, just ignore the sat nav, follow the road ahead. I'll give you the directions for the time being just to avoid the traffic on the Greenford Road. I think there's some roadworks further down, so it gets slow again. We'll just go this way instead. Okay. These are all test routes, by the way, so I'm not taking us off of any test routes. Yeah. Still on the road. There'll be a roundabout coming up. So ignore the sat-nav at the roundabout, take the second exit straight ahead.
a bit better for traffic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why a lot of people don't know about this road. It's like a shortcut. Yeah, it, it runs parallel to the Greenford Road, yeah. but just there's no traffic. There's always traffic on the Greenford Road. After 200 yards, turn right, Birkbeck Avenue. So just ignore the sat nav, okay? Just continue to follow the road ahead, please. Turn right. Straight. Would you take the next road on the left? Yes. Lovely right mirror check as you went to the right there. Okay, at the crossroads, I'd like us to turn right, please. So, be the next road on the right. Yeah, this is the Greenford Road, <clears throat> extremely busy. I thought it was going earlier, but I just didn't want to. Like... Just because we're on a mock test, I'll kind of keep my lips buttoned. Walkout rule is probably the best way to know if it's a safe time to drive out. So this yeah. is the same as if we were with, I don't know, a 10 year old relative. Yeah. Would we cross the road with them? Yes, that's the time to drive out. Until we say yes, just wait. At about about, turn right, third exit, and follow the sat nav again, please. Independent drive. The road markings will say A40 West, and the sign says Oxford, A40. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit towards Oxford.
Take the exit, Western Avenue. After 1.2 miles, keep right. So just yeah. the mirrors and the signals mandatory, which you did. Yeah. Sometimes if there's a vehicle hidden in a blind spot, we won't see it in the mirror. Yeah. So just a tip for joining or changing lanes. Okay. Just have a little look over into the blind spot, just over the right shoulder. There'll be another sign because the sat nav might be a little bit confusing, yeah. to Oxford, just coming up a little bit further on the left. It's a bit hidden in the trees, yeah. so if you can't see it, just let me know. Otherwise, follow the sign to Oxford. After 800 yards, yeah. keep right. So even a little look out the window there as you change lanes, okay? Yeah. Uh, blind spot, a little bit more out the back window than the side window. Yeah. Looks nice though that you're making that Keep effort. right, yeah. then take the exit. Okay, talking about rice slip, there will be a sign on the left. The only reason why I'm mentioning the signs, I know we have the sat nav but this route can be done with following signs also. Okay, 20% chance of following the signs, and if you have a look to the left, you'll see a sign for right slip. So we'll be following the signs of right slip. After 800 yards, take the exit, B455, towards right slip. Then, go right on the roundabout, and take the third exit, A4180. Exit, then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. A4180 West End Road.
After 200 yards, turn right, station approach. Turn right. Okay, very nice job on this road, well done. Uh, one, your position was so early yeah. for your right turn here. Yeah. Very safe. Okay. Two, well done for noticing the yellow box. Yeah. You saw a gap beyond the yellow box. Yeah. Then you moved across. Okay. Yeah. After 300 yards, turn right, Victoria Road. Turn right, Victoria Road. So here we are at the traffic light, turning right onto Victoria Road. Victoria Road is an important one for Greenford test routes. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Victoria Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Victoria Road. After 300 yards, Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Field End Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit.
tip for the roundabouts. Very nice slow approach. Yeah. And try to go a little faster as we exit. Yeah. Slow on the approach and fast on the exit. When it's safe, I'd like you to show us how we would open your side window and close it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just going to cross off that we've completed the show me, tell me questions. Very nice, thank you. After 200 yards, bear left, A312, Mandeville Road. Bear left. Well done finding your own position on the road and not copying the other road users. Yeah. Always drive over bus stops. Just another tip. Most commonly, a student will see a bus stop yeah. and go around it. Yeah. It's absolutely fine, we can always drive over bus stops. Just like a yellow box, so yeah. always drive over yellow. Yeah. Uh, see, the bus stops are normally yellow, so it's just a nice little saying: always drive over yellow. Yeah. And you can always drive over the bus stops, no problem. Bus lanes yeah. are white solid lines. Yeah. They're different. Yeah. They'll have a time plate here, so yeah. seven a.m. to ten a.m. Yeah. And then a big gap till four p.m. So we're we're quite comfortable here. We're around one o'clock, so we yeah. can use the bus lane. And straight to the After roundabout. 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A4090, Witten Avenue West. Thank you. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit.
after 200 yards, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, A4090, Witten Avenue West. Cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Oldfield Circus. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Oldfield Circus. Can the mirror checks on this road for change of directions as you're moving yeah. around the parked vehicles, you're checking for motorbikes and bicycles. Yeah. At the end of the road, oh, turn to left, right. Oldfield right. Lane North, okay. then go around the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Just ignore the sat nav now, that's the end of the independent drive, so we'll be turning left here. Turn left, then go around the roundabout and take the fourth exit. After we turn left at the roundabout, straight please, second exit, just ignore the sat nav. Good driving over the bus stop. Thank you. Lovely. Good lane discipline on the roundabout as well. Excellent using the left lane to go straight ahead at the roundabout, unless the road markings tell us otherwise. Yeah. Good. So try and use the right mirror more. 
focus. We're moving right, and yeah, we're actually we're looking in the left mirror. So just try to use that right mirror yeah. a little bit more when we're going to the right. <clears throat> okay, we're just going to follow the road ahead. This is going to take us back to the test centre, yeah. and then we'll finish up with the manoeuvre. Lovely right mirror check before moving to the right there, well done. I had to stop you. Yeah. There isn't enough room to continue. Yeah, okay. You got full control? Uh, yeah. Okay. Excellent right mirror check again, well done. At the end of the road, yeah. giving direction a little bit early, yeah. turn right. And then we're at the test centre. Just going to get a little bit further ahead, just into the car park where we started. We are just driving past the test centre on the right. You wouldn't use this car park for the test, but there isn't a lot of room around here, so it's better if we go here. Yeah. Take the next left into the car park, please, yeah. where we're going to do another reverse bay park, okay? okay? So as you enter the car park, turn to the right, stop in the middle, then reverse into any bay, your choice. Now I'm sure chat slayed us, just ignore what I'm about to say, but as we all know there is a curring segment, a <laughs> curring segment at MTP called the 10k challenge. So chat, if you want to pump out another 10k, get you up to 20, then you're the supreme champions. If not, Team Carl get one point back and it's a draw. When you're ready, I'd like to reverse play. We can cut this bit out. <laughs> I'd like to reverse bay park, please. Any bay, your choice. Just had to stop here, yeah. so we've got a parent and child just running behind the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So just make sure it's completely clear of any hazards, and if it is, we'll continue. So you did give yourself a big challenge here, parking next to a minivan with a child hanging from the roof. Yeah. Should have gone maybe to the other bay. But...
Thank you very much. That is the end of the test, and we'll know it's the end of the test when the examiners ask us to switch off the engine. So if you wouldn't mind just unplugging the car, and it is a tradition around here to ask you at the end of your mock test, yeah. how do you feel it went? Uh, it was okay. It was okay. But okay. I made a bit of, uh, like, a few mistakes. Okay. Yeah. Do was... you feel it's a pass or a fail? I'd say it's a fail because okay. uh, that car, that the car uh, in the dual carriageway, the first one, I made a mistake. I should have, like, I checked the mirrors, but I should have stayed and then changed directions. And uh, there was another mistake when I... Uh, Now, there was a mistake now when I was doing the bay parking, I should have looked and then done the... Observations, yeah. yeah. Number one reason why people aren't successful for like 10 years in a row. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, any other little bits and pieces or should we go through the results? I think uh, there was one where I went too close to the car. We did get a little bit close <laughs> to a couple of parked cars, yes, correct. Yeah. Um, I didn't mark them down as major. I put them down as minor, okay? Yeah. We were very close, though, all right? So yeah. So be careful of the left, all right? Yeah. Okay, so we've got judge, jury, and examiners here. Chat, cast your verdict now or start the poll. That would be brilliant. And would you like me to go through the results? Yeah. All right, so your intuition is correct. Yeah. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be a pass. Yeah. I did mention about the car on the dual carriageway. You're correct. So we just want to maybe just listen for the beep. You know, yeah. if you've got the technology, the blind spot beeps, better yeah. that we look out, out the window. Yeah. It's not something that we teach as driving instructors, but I like to, especially for advanced knowledge. Okay. Yeah. So changing lanes on the motorway or dual carriageway, have yeah. a little check over to the blind spot. Okay. Similar to the mirror check when we're going around the parked car. Yeah. So try to check the right mirror up before we move out to the right or check over the right shoulder before we move out to the right. Okay. okay. All right. So, yes, that would have been a serious. Yeah. Uh, we do have a few more serious driver thoughts as well. Yeah. Uh, speed came up a little bit, didn't it? We had yeah. 20 roads. Yeah. All right. So just trying to keep it to 20. All yeah. right. We went up to about 25 at one point on the 20 yeah. roads. There were a couple of minors for 24, 23. Yeah. The unspoken rule is, so I'm giving trade secrets away here. 10% of the speed limit plus two. If we're over by that much, we get a serious driver fault. Okay. So 10% of 20 is two, plus two is 24. Yeah. So we've got 24, 23, mark those down as minors using okay. discretion. Obviously yeah. over is over, could still be a fail. Yeah. Um, but 25 would be a serious for sure. Okay. okay. Uh, we did have the um, blue car, uh, the roundabout actually that I had to stop us for. Yeah. Do you remember? So yeah. there was a vehicle on the right. Mark that down as observations again, yeah. which you said about your reverse bay park here as well. So observations, just try to look early, early vision, early decision. If okay. there's no vehicle on the right in the danger zone, yeah. then we can go. If okay. there's a vehicle in the danger zone and you're in any doubt, yeah. don't. Just stop, wait, see what the vehicle does. Wait for that big gap. Once we get the big gap, we can go. Good. Okay. Uh, we had the meeting situation shortly after, which is our last serious driver fault. Um, actually, no, there's one more. I'll go into a bit more detail on that one, the last one. Oh, yeah. thank you, chat. So 64% uh, of chat have agreed with us. Yeah. So um, we had the red car meeting situation. Yeah. We we're driving down the road, very narrow road two vehicles coming towards us. The lead vehicle was the red vehicle. I yeah. had to put the brake on and stop us. Yeah. Yeah, just because there wasn't enough room for us to continue. Yeah. Okay, so again, if you're in any doubt, and you feel that anxiety in the belly, that yeah. I call it ooh moment, Yeah. slow down, stop. So listen to our feelings. They're there to protect us. Okay. The last one is the lane discipline. So we were just turning right onto Victoria Road. Yeah. Victoria Road's a big part of the driving test. Yeah. Um, we were in the middle lane on this occasion. So yeah. there were three lanes. Left lane goes straight. Middle lane turns right. Right lane turns right. Yeah. As we use the middle lane to turn right, instead of staying in that lane, yeah. we moved into the very far right lane. Yeah. There was a van extremely close behind us, yeah. which had to slow down 
Oh, yeah. So remember the three S's. So if we make other vehicles, you know, we move into another vehicle's lane or we drive out at the roundabout, we drive out into a main road. Yeah. And we make other vehicles slow, stop or swerve, the three S's. Yeah. Equals S, which is serious. Okay. So just be mindful if we cause any other vehicles to slow, stop, swerve, which we did when we changed lanes. If there was no one there, no problem. Okay. But because the van was there and it was affected, it's recorded as a serious driver fault. Yeah. Okay, in total, for minor driver faults, we've got one, two, three, four. The two, three, four are all for late signals, by the way. Yeah. Okay, we've got the clearance, which you mentioned twice, uh, for parked cars. So that would be five, six. Then we've got the use of speed, seven, eight. So just yeah. trying to keep to the speed limit, especially with 20 roads. We've got appropriate speed, which is nine. And that was because we're doing 35 on a 50 on the dual carriageway. Speed limit yeah. changed to 50. Yeah. Try to get up to about 45. We're doing 35. It's yeah. quite a low speed for a 50. Okay, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So number 10, observations. Uh, this was the first roundabout on Victoria Road. Yeah. We were just driving down the road, roundabout coming. There was a vehicle on the right, and we just kept going. Yeah. It didn't slow or stop or swerve. Yeah. But it was on the right. Remember, for roundabouts, vehicles on the right have priority. So okay. just try to have a look. Early vision, early decision. Vehicle on the right in a danger zone. Slow down, stop. Allow them priority. And that's it. Yeah. So I think that was 10, wasn't it? Let me just triple check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, no. All right. I think that just leaves me to say an extra special thank you to yourself, Chat Slay. Just one point. Yeah. Team Car got one point at the end there. I'm assuming. Yeah. So that's a draw. We'll be back for some more. Until then, guys, stay safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Don't feel like you have to say bye to anyone, even. That's fine. <laughs>